Elementary School PS48 celebrates Black History Month with New York One anchor and author Cheryl Wills as she honors her ancestors with the children's book titled Emma. It was an honor to be here at PS48 and tell these students about my great-great-great-grandma Emma Wills. The children's book tells the true life story of Emma Wills and her experience as an enslaved African-American girl. Wills explains the driving force behind telling the story of her great-great-great-grandmother. She was declared invisible by this country. They never expected that more than 125 years after she died, that one of her grandchildren would find her. Teacher for PS48, Ida Watson, expresses gratitude for the release of Emma as she shares her concern for the lack of education regarding the history of slavery. You would think that this is something the children would know about, and they don't. It's such a hidden aspect of America. So I am so happy that she made a children's book honoring her great, great, great grandmother. And Cheryl Wills' journey to justice doesn't end with Emma. The author says her ancestor's story will continue. I learned about my grandparents 10 years ago. I would have never guessed that the plantation is still there. My family was buried without honor. Everywhere I go, I want people to know I am on a very sacred and divine mission to exhume my family's remains when we make the positive DNA match and have them reburied in a military cemetery with honor. Will's plans to make a documentary on her journey and the students at PS48 couldn't be more excited. For more information on her upcoming projects, visit CherylWills.com, where you can also order a copy of her latest book, Emma. Reporting for BronxNet, Kibben Aline.